Okay, so I got this box with a, a lot of languages uh, for its warning. Uh, there's English and uh, a, a lot more languages. So we're gonna try to scan some of these and uh, we're gonna automatically switch from uh, which language and translate it to English. So I'm not sure what language is this, uh, but it looks like Greek uh, language, but let's see how it is. So I'm scanning it uh, on, on two lines and uh, a pillow for TH Mama is included. Okay, there's some missing uh, letter, but uh, somehow it's still understandable. So it's quite useful. Safety valve. Well, that's how that's what it says there in English safety valves. Let's try this. Válvulas de segurança. Safety valves. And moving along to its next feature that we're going to uh, check is the phonetic pronunciation. So it has a language A and language B, and uh, somehow you can select the language uh, with its accent or, yeah, with its accent, maybe English, US, New Zealand. And also you'll have the language B, uh, which language you are talking to. And uh, basically it's quite simple. You just have to press the button and also the other person or the, the one you're talking to will press the other button for uh, for you to converse. What's the weather like today? And by the way, the speed of translation would also depend on your internet connection. And this device has a 1GB DDR plus RAM and an 8GB internal storage. Can you tell me where is the nearest tar box? Pouvez-vous me dire où se trouve le Starbucks le plus proche? The English study can only translate from Chinese to English. We are to Binti Ling. I want to eat ice cream. Our next feature is we have the text excerpt. This is my one of my favorite actually because you just add a text. You can scan a phrase or a sentence, if a word if you like, and uh, or probably a poem. You're just simply copying a text, like highlighting it with a scanner. It will be added to the uh, to the device and you can actually export it uh, if you want to you want to copy notes or you can actually link this to uh, Transfer to your computer uh, maybe in a feature So basically it's just simply scanning and it will add it word for word to the device So as simple as that and you can still edit if there's some text that are misspelled or were scanned incorrectly and uh, Yep, that's that's quite good. It's quite uh, convenient and uh, you just have to uh, save it. And next we have the intelligent recording. So it's recording your voice. At the same time, it's actually adding the text, the actual text of the words that you're saying. Hey everyone, this is a test on the scanner translator with its dictation. So let's see how it goes. Let's see if the texts are accurate. Well, it seems that it's actually translating from Chinese uh, then back to English as text, but probably because this is just a prototype, probably the final version will not have that uh, functionality. And this also has an MP3 section, so you can actually save MP3 files if you still have those files, because most of the things are now online. And we also have the settings. So you have the Wi-Fi settings, the volume, the time, the standby time, and uh, all those uh, all those settings and also all those um, about the device. It's in there. And uh, this connects via a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which is which is still pretty stable. Well, this is a pretty cool translator. So make sure you check the link in the description, which goes to the Indiegogo site, and it is currently discounted. So don't miss this opportunity. This has been Christian. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you.